What is up, guys? Evil Duo Storm here today. And today I have for you a video where we're going to be discussing the very first things you should be doing as a fresh level 50. So this is a video series I put out after just about every major patch that changes all this, um, and it has changed tremendously since the uh, most recent patch, um, which was Secrets of the Scribes. Major patch, I should say. Um, a lot has changed in this Rise of the Gunslinger patch. So we're going to go through seven things I think you should do as soon as you hit level 50 to help um, ease your progression, give you an idea of how to move forward with uh, progressing your character. Um, these are not the only things to do, but this is some good ones to get you started, and then they'll take up quite a bit of your time. So, anyway, first thing is first is to finish off the story. So, right now you're hitting uh, level 50 at about Act 4, Chapter 22. Um, if you're watching the video right now, if you're watching it after the Gunslinger patch um, bonus experience ends, you are going to hit it at Act 4, Chapter 35. Regardless of um, when you're hitting it, you want to finish the story. Uh, right now, if you finish it, it'll put you to HM8. Um, if you finish it after October 18th, when this patch um, loses the bonus experience, you'll be about HM7.5. So super, super useful. It lets you get into so many dungeons for people because you can't get into certain dungeons depending on your uh, HM levels. People tend to kick you out if you don't have the right stats. So this puts you at a good place to get into just about all the dungeons that you're going to need for this list to go ahead and get these items that I'm going to discuss later. So make sure you finish the story. Um, yeah, so finish the story is the very first thing. It's going to take you about six more hours after hitting level 50, six or seven hours, but it is totally worth it because of how much more um, experience gains you get. So after you um, start leveling up your character, another thing to point out, and this is just a little subset, um, is for newer players, there is this menu called the uh, character status menu. So I've opened it up on the uh, my screen here. You press P on your keyboard to bring this menu up. There is this hung moon point stat over here. So you have offense and defense. Um, optimally, as you're progressing, as you're gaining HM levels, you're going to gain 5 points uh, per HM level. So what you're going to want to do, your very first thing is you're going to want to put your first 20 points um, into offense. So why do you want to do that? It's actually interesting. So how the system works is the more points you put in, um, you get different bonuses down here. So they happen every 10, 10 and 20. Then after that, you've got to wait until 50 to get another stat bonus. So you want to put your first 20 into offense. It's, it gives you 140, I believe, if my math is working right. Nope, 120. It gives you 120 bonus attack power, which is super useful. It lets you uh, pass a lot of AP checks for people looking for dungeons. Um, so you want to put your first 20 into that. After that, you're going to put your second 10 into uh, defense. And then from there, you need to decide on uh, if you're dying faster, you're going to want to put up to 20 in defense because it gives you more HP. But if you're doing fine with dodging skills and everything, just go ahead and dump the rest into attack. But you definitely want those first 10 in defense, and you want to make sure you get the very first 20 into offense. So by HM6, you'll have all of the point spread that you absolutely need to uh, continue in the game. So that's just a little sidetrack on leveling. So as you're leveling, make sure you spread like that. Um, so after you go ahead and do that, play through the story, you're going to get this weapon called a scale burn weapon. So I just put out a video on how to upgrade your scale burn weapon. I will link it up in the top corner right now. A little card will flash up and say, come watch this video. Um, it just tells you how to upgrade the scale burn weapon. That's going to help you to pick between Baleful or Seraph. Um, or it's going to be when you pick between Baleful and Seraph, rather. So make sure you uh, have an educated decision when you go forward with that. I'm going to be putting out videos on how to decide between Baleful or Seraph um, in the very near future. So after you've upgraded to Bale for Seraph, um, generally just progress that weapon as it, as you go along. I'm going to put up videos helping on how to progress that weapon, um, but for now just try and figure out looking at what you need and where to find it, um, and I'll be more specific when I come out in the other videos. Uh, anyway, so after you upgrade to your Bale for Seraph weapon, you're in a pretty good place. Next thing you want to do is farm for your Pinnacle Accessories. So as you see right here, I have uh, four Pinnacle Accessories, and this Black Ice Ring is actually the next tier of um, stuff to go ahead and get. Um, but you'll have a pinnacle ring here. So this, these accessories are farmed from the three um, medium level, medium difficulty dungeons, I would say, um, for new players anyway. So those dungeons are Sogan's Lament, they are Gloom Dross Incursion, and the Shattered Mast. So those dungeons require certain amounts of AP to be able to clear them. Um, it's right around the 650 mark, so 600, 650 mark. Um, as we see, Gloom Dross Incursion is 550. Uh, Shattered Mass is at 600, and Sogan's Lament is at 650-ish between there and that range there. So those three dungeons, to get into those dungeons, you can click F8 on your keyboard, it's going to bring up this menu. You click Cross Server Dungeon, and it's going to bring up a lobby. All you do in that lobby is you click on the dungeon that you want to run, so Sogan's Lament, Shattered Mass, or Gloomdross Incursion, and then there's a thing at the bottom that says Look for Party, or Search for a Party. Um, super simple way to get into these dungeons. You just gotta wait for the matchmaking to find you a party. You'll go in and complete the dungeon. I have mechanics guides on all three of those dungeons. I'll link them in the description below. Um, if it's your first time ever going to be running them, it'll help you figure out how to uh, 
get through the dungeons and complete the dungeons. So that is it. You're going to farm those accessories. They drop at the end of the boss. Every boss drops at least one every time. Um, so you will just have to bid against other people going for the same items. Um, just make sure you get your drops eventually. You know, don't waste too much money on these. They are a pretty frequent drop. Um, but yeah, so just make sure you get those five accessories. So the belt and the earring drop from Sogan's Lament. The bracelet and the necklace drop from Shattered Mass. And the ring drops from Gloom Dross Incursion. Um, so those are where you get each of those accessories if you're wondering where to pick out the last one that you need. So, after you've done that, the next thing to do is upgrade your diamond. So from completing the story, you're going to get a triangular diamond. Um, the triangular diamond gives you 25 AP. The next tier up is the square diamond, and it gives you 35 AP. So this is an instant 10 AP bonus, and it's super, super useful, um, and it's actually super easy to get. All you need to do is go to Mushin's Tower. So Mushin's Tower is located... Um, uh, over here on the map. Just fast travel to Mushin's Tower. You needed to go here to play through the story. When you get there, you see this area over here called Tower of Infinity. So this Tower of Infinity is a challenge. It's a PvP sort of, except against uh, computer-controlled opponents. So you just have to reach floor 20 of that, which is about four wins in a row. Um, and it's not too bad to do. Uh, four wins in a row will get you the 20 Tower of 20 accomplishment. The merchant right here that you see, I also have a video on this gem, so if you are struggling, I'll link it right now, and I'll put the video that goes through exactly how to do this right in the tower. Um, you just talk to him, and after you have the accomplishment, you can buy the gem for five Naryu uh, coins. Naryu, yeah, Naryu silver. Five Naryu silver um, for the 10 bonus AP. Super easy. Uh, very, very cheap upgrade to your character's uh, stats. So, next, you want to upgrade your soul. That is the next um, most simple uh, thing to do. So upgrading your soul is a, a interesting perspective or interesting thing to do here because there are so many different ways to do it. So I'm at stage six of my soul. Um, disregard that. You're going to be at Moonwater Soul. So Moonwater Soul is this first soul that you get for completing the story. You have two different ways to get up to your... Well, actually, three different ways to get up to the Hong Moon Soul, although one of them is just absurd. Um, so the first option is to upgrade your soul by using the uh, upgrade feature. So if I go... I'm trying to figure out how to get to this. Yeah, so here we go. If you go to the Evolve menu here, you'll see that you have your Moonwater Soul, and you can upgrade it to the uh, Hong Moon Soul. So you need a, a Demon Spirit Stone, five Elysian Orbs, three Evolved Stones, and five Naryu Tablets. Demon Spirit Stone comes from Cold Storage. It's a random drop, very low rate. Uh, Evolved Stones cost about seven gold. The Elysian Orbs cost about seven gold, eight gold. So this is a pretty expensive upgrade to do it this way. So this is the expensive way to do it. Uh, the next way you can do it, which is the absurd way to do it, is through Dragon Express, and is to farm uh, Heaven's Mandate probably eight bajillion times. I don't I don't know the exact number. It's probably about an estimate of eight bajillion, maybe nine bajillion. But you can actually get the Hong Moon Energy Stage 1 for 250 feathers and 25 um, revealed secret techniques. 250 feathers is going to take you forever to get, so this isn't a reasonable way to do it, unless you have a main character with all these feathers. Then you can just transfer the stuff over and get the uh, soul relatively cheaply, um, just paying the transfer fee for the feathers. So, the realistic way that everybody does it is through buying the Oathbreaker set. So, the Oathbreaker set consists of three pieces. So, just type in Oathbreakers into the market and then learn how to spell because I can't spell. Uh, Oathbreaker. Oathbreaker. There it is. So, you got the Sword Blade. Um, so, the Sword Blade costs about two gold right now. The other items you need are the Sword Point, which is about five gold right now. And the final item that you need is the False Edge, which is the expensive piece. It's going for about 40 gold right now. There it is. Make sure you buy these three pieces, three pieces, and make sure you um, pay attention that you don't buy the same piece twice. Um, because if you do buy the same piece twice, it is a waste of money since you only need those. So as you can see in the middle of your screen right now, you see that once you combine all three pieces together, you get a Hong Moon Energy Stage 1. Um, that's a 5 AP bonus, and it costs about 45 gold, so it's a pretty expensive investment, but it is something you're going to use the entire game, because you'll constantly pe be progressing your soul um, as you get different items, and I'll put out a video to help on progressing souls as well. Next on the list of things to do after level 50 is to select your crafting profession. So as soon as you hit level 50, this is one you can do um, to start gaining materials, start gaining things, uh, to getting it progressed. I have a video on progressing crafting. Basically, my recommendation is to pick up the Radiant Ring because you're going to want to be crafting these Hong Moon Brilliant Keys um, for whatever character you're leveling. Those Hong Moon Brilliant Keys are bound to account, so if you have another character, you can transfer over the keys and blah, 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 blah. But um, generally, for the character you're leveling, go into this guild so you can craft these keys to uh, upgrade your weapons. The reason you want these is because they guarantee you the weapon for your class when you open a weapon chest. So it helps to progress um, your character faster. You don't have to keep farming dungeons and over and over. Once you get your the weapon chest, you have your weapon. 
Um, it's very, very useful for progressing your character. And once again, I'm going to put out a video on upgrading weapons in the near future. Um, Forge Keepers Guild or Soul Wardens is my next recommendation. Soul Wardens for soul shield progression, and then Forge Keepers give, lets you craft uh, transformation stones and appearance spirit stones to go ahead and upgrade your weapon at the higher stages of upgrades. So um, that's something you're going to need in the few, farther future. Um, soul Wardens is soul shield upgrades. It increases your stats. Uh, those are both good upgrades or good guilds for leveling up a character. Um, so next next and final thing on this list, final point number seven, is your soul shield upgrade. So the very first thing you're going to want to do um, is you're going to want to get the Asura soul shield. Uh, I have a video on soul shield progression that shows you the optimal stats and the optimal breakdown, but the, the lazy man's way of doing it, or the simple way of doing it, is get the Asura soul shield. You're going to be farming it anyway to get the pinnacle uh, earring and the pinnacle belt. Um, so you're already being in the dungeon. Just bid on the soul shield pieces until you have a full set of eight. It gives nice uh, attack power bonus and it gives a nice um, critical bonus and gives good stats um, as far as a soul shield goes. It's pretty solid and it'll get you through a lot of the content. Um, while you're doing that, you're going to want to farm MSP on the Fridays, the Saturdays, and the Sundays. Um, it is double loot on those days, so whenever you run MSP, you will get two chests instead of just one for each boss stage. Um, it helps you to get soul shield pieces faster. Um, so those boss chest, the boss chests that drop for killing the bosses in MSP, have a chance to drop the legendary soul shield set. Um, stage one will drop piece one. Stage two drops two and three. I think stage three drops three and four. Um, stage four drops four, three, four, five. It goes up progressively until you get to stage five, where you have a chance of dropping any of the pieces. Um, so you need to get to stage five. You're probably not going to find parties for that on the weekend, but you can get your first three or four pieces without having to pay any money just by running MSP. After that, you're going to have to spend uh, Lunar Twilight Flowers to buy the pieces from the uh, actual merchants in the MSP. So, um, But that is the next thing to do, is to go ahead and upgrade into the Legendary Soul Shield. So you see right here, I have five pieces of the Legendary MSP Soul Shield here. And as you see, it gives you bonus uh, damage effects. So for the Gunslinger, for example, it gives you attack power. It gives you it increases your damage of your right mouse button. Um, for other classes that have different bonuses, you're going to want to get at least five pieces of this for just about every class. Um, some classes do not gain any benefit from the MSP Soul Shields, um, pieces 6, 7, and 8. So you're going to want to get a different Soul Shield, which I have a video on all the Soul Shield progression. I'll link it right now. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you found this video useful. Those are the things you should be doing when you hit level 50. It's a lot to take in. I know this is a longer video, but um, it, I basically have covered everything you need to do to get up to uh, a very, very strong character heading into the uh, later portions of the game here. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. hope you found it useful. Um, if you did, make sure you like and uh, check out the other stuff on the channel. I've got a lot of great stuff on the channel, and I will see you at the next video. Peace.